Hi there guys, this is Barry from Copper vs Glass and what I'm going to look at is the, the, the differences and similarities between stock Android on the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7. And you have to excuse me throughout this, I'm probably going to get the names mixed up and call them one and the other. Um, so what we're going to have a look at first of all is we're just going to have a look at some of the stock applications that come with stock Jelly Bean. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to go into something like the calendar. And you can see here that on the Galaxy Nexus we have a, just a very simple uh, calendar view here which is going to show your calendars and of course you can switch between day, week, month and agenda view. Um, and then we have the Nexus 7 here which essentially if you just kind of imagine putting the phone just up like that and you have the same space in the top here as you have on the phone here. And then you have this extra strip down the bottom which includes things like the month view and the different calendar view and it's a bit of a better experience. If we switch it this way we have the same thing. If we switch the phone this way, then we just get a kind of blown up view of the calendar there. So that's the slight difference between the calendar there, um, but I think the calendar application is definitely still much better than it is on skinned Android, such as Sense and TouchWiz. So let's open up another application like Chrome. Now Chrome actually on the uh, Nexus 7 I think is a little bit of a letdown, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I think Chrome is a great browser for syncing things between devices like my Mac and my tablets. It, it does very, very well. Um, but if we're looking at the web pages here, so of course in portrait view we get the, pretty much the same view, just a different size. But the real change is when we put our devices into landscape. So let's put the Nexus Galaxy Nexus into landscape, and we'll put the Nexus 7 into landscape. Now here you can see a big difference. So the difference is, is that on the phone the virtual buttons are located on the right hand side. They stay at the bottom and we don't have any tabs across the top, it's just the search bar. Now on the Nexus 7, the virtual buttons actually switch down to the bottom and we also have a tab viewer up the top. Now this actually makes for a not very good experience on the Nexus 7 because having these two bulky assets like the tab bar and the button bar at the bottom it actually squishes the web page down so you have a very elongated view of the web page. Whereas on the phone, because the buttons are along the side, you still get a very square view here, actually allowing for a slightly better viewing experience and you can actually view a lot more than you can on the Nexus 7. Of course, they are still much better in portrait modes, just as we have here. And that's how I would usually view the web and I would zoom in if I needed to. So I think in this case, the actual phone wins this battle out from the tablet. We'll have a look at another application which is my favourite reading application at the moment and that is called Google Currents. Google Currents is of course just a news aggregator, you can fill it with different sources that you like and they save offline so you can view them when you're not connected to the internet which is one of its biggest features. So you can see in the start here the layout is very, very similar with top stories at the top and your sources down the bottom. Let's go into one of the sources here, The Verge. And let's have a look at how these differ. So straight off the bat we've got very similar interfaces as you can see, almost identical, just kind of enlarged onto the other screen. The difference is however is that if on the phone I swipe across, I just get a kind of list view of all the stories. Now on the tablet if I do that, I actually get kind of like a paginated view of the same stories I've got here in the list view, but they're just kind of like three, maybe four a page, sometimes even just two. Um, and it's a lot better for viewing stories because you get the bigger images, you get the better text and it's a lot easier to see headlines and things like that such as on the phone. So let's what we'll do, let's just go into one of the uh, big stories here, so let's go back into the Verge here and let's click on this top one here and you can kind of see how they differ. So of course on the phone we've got the picture, picture here and we've got text and of course the text here is going to be uh, a lot more uh, pages than it is on here, so here it was only two, here it was three. Um, but I think in this case with the tablet it's a lot better because you can just simply hold it in your hand and just flick across and you can very easily read the stories. Um, and I think in, just in terms of reading experience it's a lot better here on the Nexus 7. So I think in this one the Nexus 7 wins. And the last one we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at Gmail. So Gmail of course in my opinion is by far the best email application on any smartphone platform. Gmail app on iOS is not that great either but on Android it is amazing. So here on the phone we've just got the list view down the side here which is great, it's nice and simple with some toggles at the bottom. On the Nexus 7 however we've got a two pane view kind of similar to the iPad where we've got emails here, folders and locations here. When we switch into landscape mode it does the same thing, it switches out um, but in the phone view you just get kind of a, a landscape view of all your emails. So I think in this case the 
tablet wins this one again with just better navigation and seeing more all at once. Now of course both of these phones and tablets have uh, Google Now and all the sort of new jelly bean goodness on them and they shine on both I wouldn't really complain about the experience on either. Um, and that's pretty much it I think so Jelly Bean is by far the best Android version out there yet and I have only really been using uh, Android since Ice Cream Sandwich, actually no probably one before um, and I think it's definitely got a lot better and I think it's got miles miles to go and loads more to give. So this is the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7 comparing Jelly Bean on both and this is Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll catch you guys later.